Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make a faux pocket fold out. But first, let's have our shout out to Lorraine, Joan Claire, Gwyneth Chani, Grace Blossoms for You, I Harvey, and Liberty Lost. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have some book pages and I have some music pages. Let's first take our book page and let's just do a real quick piece of decoration that we can use in this project. So I'm bringing in my paints. So you don't have to have a paint palette that's this large, just a little small school palette will work just fine. I have my water here. I'm going to get my brush filled with a little bit of water and I would like to let's see what color I'm going to use this uh, bright orange right here I'm going to work on um, putting this bright orange onto my paper now my brush is just flat tipped brush nothing special wasn't expensive and I'm just going to start with maybe making a line from this line and incorporate these three lines together just make a straight line with my paintbrush very simple straight line and I'm repeating it and I'm just going to go ahead and go clear across my page and I'm not filling my paintbrush up anymore and then maybe I'm going to go this way and just make a line and do you see how the paint is getting lighter I just think that looks beautiful how it just goes from being really dark to lighter and lighter all right so that's all I'm doing and I'm going to fill up my whole page after I fill my whole page up it's going to look something like this now this is in a green color so once you start doing this it kind of gets addictive and you kind of start just <laughs> making a whole bunch of them because they're really fun to use now you can either leave it like that or maybe you could take your sharpie which is right here and maybe you would like to um draw lines around it now as you can see i did not do this anywhere close to being perfect I just took my pen and it's this point it has that what is it called a uh, fine point that's what it's called and I just literally just went around like this and I didn't pay attention to if I made it perfect or if I stayed in the colored lines I just went just like that and it's really Fun to do and in fact if you're in a little bit of a slump doing something like this really really gets your mojo back all right so here's a piece that I have been using already and let's see I think I want that one I don't know I might want this rusty colored one so we're going to use these in part of our decoration for our project today so I'm going to bring in some music paper now. So I have this music paper. Now you don't have to use music paper. Maybe you have a large book page that you want to use. And I don't mean like book like this. Maybe it has pictures on it or any. It does not really matter. Maybe you want to use a digital. But I chose to use music paper. Now this music paper is, let me move this other stuff out of the way, alrighty. This music paper is 10 and a half by 7 and a half, but it looks like I really need to trim it up a little bit because it's kind of jagged and I would like to get that trimmed up, so I'm going to trim it to 7. So. I'm just bringing in my larger guillotine. I really hadn't noticed that it was pretty jagged. And I'm just going to trim it just like that. Trim off that, that portion that I really didn't like. Alrighty. You could even cut this part off if you want, but that's okay. We're not going to do that right now. What I want to do is I want to take my 
paper and I'm going to fold it the long way this way and I think I'm going to fold it let's leave about a half an inch so let me highlight this so you can see a little better this is the end of my paper and this is the end of this side of this paper and so if I fold it this way and I leave about a half an inch. I think that's probably fine. So I leave in a half an inch. I'm just giving it a crease, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this down about, okay, how, how much is that? that's about two inches just about just about two inches okay give it a crease now what I'd like to do is I would like to go ahead and I'm going to fold this little piece right here I'm going to go ahead and fold it over there we are so now, let's go ahead and highlight this so you can see it a little better, because I know it's hard to see these folds. There's a fold there, okay, into my paper. From here, this line here where we folded, to the top, we're going to be taking off a little bit. Now, I want to leave, I want to leave about, uh, let me look here. about two inches in between that's still going to be flat. I don't want to bring it to a tip, to point. You know, I don't want to have a tip right here. I want it to be flat. So if I take my, my point and maybe bring it to here and maybe bring it to here. Okay, how about if we do this? Let's cut this side. So I'm just from this line right here, this fold, I'm going to just snip it. Just snip it off, just like that. Then I'm going to go on the other side. I'm going to use this one as my template. And I'm going to put it right here. Even though we have our little flap here, doesn't matter. We're going to cut that flap too. I'm going to cut it too. So Using it as my template, I'm going to just trim it. There we go. Very simple. Now we look just like this. And what I want to do is I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to remove this little piece, this little point right here. I'm going to cut it down straight. There we go. And I'm going to look at this. I'm going to remove, okay, it goes like this. I'm going to remove this one. I'm not removing this one. I'm going to remove this one. So simply by trimming it off. Okay. And I'm going to glue it right on to this one. So what I'm doing is I'm reinforcing this piece right here. I'm grabbing my art glitter glue and I'm simply going to add my glue on the edges right here and then placing this back on here. Doing this is not easy for me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but these are the things that I fiddle with. Okay, I've got it back on. I think it's pretty good, too. Let's look and see. Not bad, Kathy, not bad. Now, let's see if it folds nicely. Recrease it. Make sure it's it's good. Oh, good. It's not, um, it's not folded. I got it on there properly. All righty. So now we look just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead 
and let's do a little bit of inking. So I'm going to just ink all the way around. I'm going to do the front and the inside and the back. So I'm going to ink all over. Now if you don't ink, of course, you wouldn't need to do this step. All right, so I've got mine all inked. Now you know I love to sew paper, so I went ahead and I sewed around all of my piece right here, all but the little flap. Now this flap is here so that when we're finished, you have a flap that you can use to make it a flap on your junk journal page. If you don't want a flap, if you don't need it, you can just simply cut it off. So that's there as an option of making a flap on your junk journal page. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring in a few things. I'm going to bring in the painting pieces that we made. I'm going to bring in a dish of all kinds of things. I've got some fussy cut sunflowers. I've got a dried bouquet like here. This is from My Porch Prints. I have some butterflies right here. I'm just showing you some different things that you can use. I have made an example and I used mushrooms in my example. So I think I would like to do the sunflowers. So I'm going to see which sunflower I want to use. I've got this and then I have these that are kind of a rustier color. I'm thinking I like this one right here. So let's just make that choice and we'll use that one. I'm going to bring in some of these labels before I get them lost over here. Um, tell you guys if you would see my craft room, it is exploding in here. So my labels right there, just in case we might need a label. Let's go back to what we worked with in the very beginning. I'm going to tear. I'm just going to tear myself just a rectangle. So I'm just going to use this as part of my decorating. So we're making our own decorations here and they're really, really adorable. So let's see here. Maybe something like that. I'm also thinking, what happened to the rusty colored one? Hmm. Well, I guess we're not. Oh, here it is. Actually, I guess it's kind of red. Would this look better? That's what I'm asking myself. Would I like this better? It does stand out a little bit more, but I'm thinking this is the look I want. So what I want to do is I'm just simply going to ink around the edge and I'm going to need a little more, bit more ink here. And I, because my page is pretty old, I have to be careful in inking it or it will just probably get torn to shreds. But just laying a little bit of color on the edge. There we go. So I think I'd like it this way, and the reason why is because I think this is heavier down here and this isn't as heavy up here. It's not, uh, it's too big for this, so I'm going to have to tear it off just a little bit, just so I can get it on there. There we are, it'll fit perfectly. So I'm grabbing my art glitter glue and I'm just going to apply my glue on here and get it right onto my project. Now I've lifted up the flap to get that on because I wanted it to go clear to the top. Let's see if I can get this positioned a little better for you guys. There we are. And I need to bring my flap down now because I don't want my flower under my flap. I want it to be out here so maybe if I turn it, I mean I really turn it there. How about if I turn it like that? That'll fit. So I'm kind of looking to see how that is because now I'm going to apply my glue. I've already inked up my little sunflower here. 
and I think these came, my flowers, my fussy cuts came from my porch prints. I'm pretty sure they did. I'm just going to press this down. It's overlapping or hanging off just a little bit right here, just a tiny bit. I'm just going to trim it. Alrighty, so I really like that. Now I'm also noticing that it's pretty tight fold right there. So I'm going to be very brave and I'm going to come in and I'm barely going to trim off a little bit right here. Just so that this will fold. Yeah, that's so much nicer. It's not, before it wasn't catching so much, it was bending it, but I could hear it. And so I just wanted to fix that now before we got any further. Let's go ahead and let's see about maybe adding um, a little bit of brown lace right down here at the bottom. But if we, okay, I'm going to get a paper clip and hold this flap down for me. There we go. Maybe add a little bit of a paper clip right here. So I'm going to just trim this right here. I need to grab my smaller scissors. Those scissors are so big and add my lace, my brown lace right here. Adding my hot glue because it's just a great tool to use while we're doing a video. Turning it over because my glass mat will just help that push that glue right into the lace. Now let's see what else. I have these silk flowers that I really like. I have those labels and I'm thinking I might need some kind of label right here. Oh, I like that one. I like that label. So I think I'll use the hot glue because I'm over the lace mainly. And I'd like to get that to grab a hold so the hot glue does that nicely for me. I also have a little bit of ribbon here. and. I have a pretty orange, I think, well, that, those hot glue strands, that's the only drawback, I think, to a hot glue, using hot glue, are those streamers. Actually, I'm going to go to this one, because it's a little more subtle, it's not quite so in your face, and I'm simply going to make two loops, and I'm going to add my glue on top of each little piece of ribbon and press it down, making a bow without having to tie a knot and making a bump. I didn't want that bump. And maybe let's see, how about if we add it, it seems to be kind of big. I think it got carried away with size. I think it needs to be smaller. Yeah. I got a little carried away there. So let's remake this. So we're just looping it. That's all we're doing. And I want it to be smaller. Yet that's a whole lot smaller. Adding my glue between the layers. That's the word I was looking for. The layers of the ribbon. Pressing it down. Now you can do that with any glue your fabric tack or whatever glue that you use for your material you can use you don't have to use hot glue and I think I'm going to stick it right like that so let's just get that glued on just like this and then I think I'd like to bring in some of these flat back pearls and maybe three of them right here. I need to turn these over so I can pick them up and just get them stuck on here. Just like that. There we go. Oh, that's looking really cute, don't you think? All right, so for our flap, let's think about what we want to do here. Let's bring in just a little bit more of our decoration that we made. And I don't 
obviously need a lot because it's a much smaller space, but I'm thinking maybe something over here. I think I'm going to take it all the way over like this. I like that a lot on there. You see that? I can't forget I need to ink it up just a little bit. Adding a little ink on here. Grabbing my art glitter glue and placing my glue on. Positioning it right up here on the top left hand corner. And then I have some silk little flowers. I just went to the, I think it was the Dollar Tree, and I purchased some flowers with some smaller petals. They're very inexpensive. And I just got a stem or two. Now what, what little wax seal do we want? Oh, I really like that color on there. There's a darker color, so you kind of emulate the center of the sunflower, which I really don't want that look going on. Um, here's another color. It's not quite dark enough. Here's another one that's, yeah, just it's just like this one, except this one's just a tiny bit darker. Now let's try it with the orange, and let's just see what does that do. Well... It's hard for you to see with my fingers there. There, that's much better. Uh, let's look at this with this one. Wow, that's a hard one for me. Goodness gracious, it did the same thing here and here, didn't it? Just like we were talking with that wax seal. I kind of like the orange one now. So, I didn't think I was going to want the orange one. But let's look and see if... Maybe a little piece of lace up here at the top might help us a little. So, hmm, I'm not sure if I want it to go across or maybe down. I'm not sure about this yet. Or maybe even over here. Oh yeah, let's do it over here. So I'm just going to open it up to help me get my glue on here. So adding my glue on here and then just laying my lace right on top and turning it over like I said before and using my glass mat to help me and simply trimming this off now. So folding it so I can see where to trim. And, okay, it's going to be right here. And I need to go ahead and anchor this a little better right there. Okay, that's looking great. Now, we're back to our orange flower and I think and that's all we need to do right there let's go ahead and pop this orange flower right here you know turn it over so maybe it will there we are and then the wax seal so a little bit of glue let it just sit there for a second so it's not so hot that it would melt my wax seal Adding that, I've got a little bit of bling here now. We use the flat back pearls, but maybe we could do a little bit of bling like this. Oh, I like it across this way. I think that's wonderful. So, adding that, just pressing that down. All right, and that's how that looks. Oh, that is so cute, right? Alrighty, so now, inside. What are we going to do inside? Because this is a faux pocket fold-out. So instead of making this into a pocket, we are just simply 
able to fold it out like this. Now in my example, I added some coffee dyed papers and I simply added them so you could journal on either side. But I thought maybe with this one, we could add some pockets with our decorated paper that we made. And let's fold this over maybe about, oh, it's almost a half an inch. And I'm only doing that because, as I said, this is older paper, and I don't want it, it's not so old that it cracks, because it's not cracking, it's not at that stage. But I need it to be a little stronger right here at the top, especially if we're going to make pockets out of it. So bringing it back in, how do we want to do this? Let's see. Let's go ahead and bring in a little guillotine and let's trim off the border. So trimming the border here. And then, uh, yeah, let's trim this into the border. Let's go ahead and do that. And then what kind of pocket do we want here? I think we should mark it. And here's my pencil. I don't want it really to go, hmm, I can't have it interfere there. How about right there? So trimming this. Okay. And then I've got to trim it down and I've got to leave myself enough to do another pocket. So, how about it? almost need two inches, don't I? That's not going to leave me enough. I do have another different color, but I don't know that that's going to matter. We might have to use another sheet here. So, we might, because I don't know if I can get... Okay, enough blah, blah, blah. Let's do two inch pocket, and we might need to jump to our other sheet, which is okay. We can do that, we have it. Let's get all of this moved out. Now this is our pocket. We fold it over the top to reinforce, and we're going to pop it right here, right inside of our faux pocket fold out. Oh my goodness, I think these are so cute. I do, I think they're just fantastic. Getting my glue and adding my glue to my three sides so that I can make a pocket. Popping it right down on here like that. And I actually have, goodness gracious, isn't that cute? Now you got the idea that I can do the other side as well. And then there it is. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. Right guys? Or even maybe you would want to put what I did on this one. This one I used the mushrooms. And you open it up like this and I put the writing papers inside. So you could actually do a writing paper in here and you would just simply take your paper and because we're kind of tearing everything, you would have to tear it if you don't like that look, but tear yourself a little piece, something that would fit. That's not going to quite fit. don't like that little hump there. There you go. Maybe something like that. And then you've got your decoration here. So let's get us a little piece of decoration that we can use. And let's ink this up very quickly here by just simply running our little inked sponge over the top and then I have to do the same here and I think I'll do it this way 
think I'd be maybe a little faster. Okay. And so which way do I like that? I like it looking like that. So let's add this right on there. So this one has one pocket and a journaling spot. You could make it with two pockets and a journaling spot. spot. The choice is yours. You can make it however you want to because it's your project. And just have fun with it. There's so many variations and options that you can do. So there you go. Now you have a, a journaling spot and then over here you have your pockets. Oh my goodness you guys, I absolutely love this project. I hope that you have enjoyed it too. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.